Welcome back to Between Bells. Wisewear is on a mission to create useful wearable tech that look great on everyone. Jerry Wilmink is the founder and CEO, and he's here to tell us about the Socialite Collection, which can help you stay healthy and may even save your yes. life. Jerry, Jerry thanks, thanks so, so much, much for being here. Thank you here. so much for the invitation. Yeah, this is fantastic. So our uh, our company. Oh, you guys. Right. Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. You just look at us. Yeah. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about this this company. That uh, what is it? What? Why are they so beautiful? But what what's the point behind it? Yeah. The, the the backstory is I started a business to create connected devices to keep people healthy and safe. Mm -hmm. uh, my grandfather was suffering from a condition called Lewy body dementia, and he fell in his home in 2011, broke his hip, and passed away. And so I started this business and in uh, 2013 and developed a product that could prevent seniors from falling. And along the way, we patented an antenna system that allows us to transmit Bluetooth through metal materials. So with this technology, we can make any metal device smart, whether it's costume jewelry, fine jewelry, uh, any metal device now can be smart. And so this is our first offering for women's safety. So it empowers women to be healthy and safe. Whenever a woman needs to call for help, she just flips her wrist taps the bracelet and makes an automatic phone call to her loved ones and then sends her exact GPS location. So you said you invented that technology? So yes. You, it's patented and everything, like Fitbit's not gonna come in and try Correct. and Correct. Coincidentally, it? I actually went to high school. Um, James Park, the CEO and founder of oh, really? Fitbit, went to the same high school, wow. university school, uh, back in Cleveland, Ohio, Hunting so, Valley. So did you guys have yeah. a little friendly competition He's going on? He's a few on? years older than me. I'm a youngster. Okay, well, you're, yeah. you're, coming, you're coming for his, uh, his customers here. Yes, yes. <laughs> because Fitbit is dominating the market when it comes to Great wearables. Job. So mm -hmm. why launch a high-end version? Yeah, that's a great question. So really, our, our market here is for safety and security. You know, we looked at this market. We found that you know, safety and security is the core of Maslow's hierarchy of needs, right? And so we're really not, we're, we're a competitor in the wearable space, in the wearables bucket. But this is really, if you want to stay safe and connected, this product can do that for you. Um, and there's really no other products that are really kind of filling that that need. So does this, does the alerts go to family members? Does it go to a hospital? Like who does it connect to? Excellent, excellent question. Because I think, because I think with, so for instance, my Nana, um, RIP Nana, uh, <laughs> she had a life alert, um, but the thing is, is her button always went to the hospital. But the problem was is she would always hit it all the time, and so the hospital was always at her house all the time. Yeah. So with us, it was easier. It's like if we could just find a way for us, if, if she fell or something else that we could maybe take care of, and she could connect with us, instead of the hospital would be much easier and cheaper in the long run. It's a great question. So what we've done now, I mean, our primary demographic is college women that want to stay safe on a college campus. You know, so one of four mm -hmm. women are sexually assaulted on a college campus. And this allows them to get a bystander to the spot, which can reduce that by 44%. Um, women that are living in metropolitan areas, also, you know, professionals, you know, for instance, you're walking here and you're going home at night and you're just kind of nervous, you can just flip the bracelet and it calls your loved ones and sends a text message, like basically keep an eye on me. Sure. And in addition, seniors can also use the product uh, as well. So we want to see these beauties. So yes. Got it. Yes. whip them out of those cases. Yes. And so. is this the socialite collection, right? Beautiful. Yeah, so this is actually the, we have three, three, um, three products in this collection. This, this is called the Kingston. The Kingston is gorgeous. Kingston, oh, I'm sorry, that, that's the Calder, actually. Can we take it out of the box? Yes, go ahead. Okay. Yep. So this is Boop. what it looks like. Can yes. we get a zoom in on that one? This and is this is what really it looks pretty. like on. There we go. Yes, yeah, should yes. I put it on? I can, no, go here, I can help middle. you put it on. Yep. Oh, no. I can help you. Okay, sorry. I thought he knows I this one a lot better. Yeah. I assume yeah. it was like this one. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay, and so, so we're this one, so this beautiful bracelet, So the and the Bluetooth is right here, right? Where she would hit it, for instance. Exactly, yeah. So I would tap there. Yep. But, there a, but that how hard do I need to tap? Like, we don't want it to yeah. mistakenly go off, obviously. It's, it's a great question. Um, what we've done is you make the gesture, it will arm, and basically it will vibrate, and then I tap, I tap the bracelet, and so basically it has to be armed like you're arming an ADT. Mm -hmm. um, okay. And so, and that one's actually empty, just so I want okay, to Okay, good. Yeah. So the target demographic, we, we cover a, a range of different people, from seniors to girls in, you know, in college or whatever. Mm -hmm. So is there a particular target demographic that you're going after, um, or is it just anybody that wants safety and security can get this? Anyone that wants safety and security, and I, I even wear, this is our, our new kind of men's version. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's really Yeah, sweet. so it's pretty stylish. Uh -huh. um, the, the thing, you know, we're, we're adding now a premium package into this, you know, so as, you know, next quarter's kind of unroll, un 
we actually are going to have a premium package where beyond make a phone call or a text message with your GPS coordinates, you can actually call our private security team internationally. And they can show up wherever you are. So it's basically kind of like your your Well, break Uber that down team. for us. So it's like a SWAT team, like who's coming in? You know, they, they can, you know, they can bring whatever. They can do an evacuation with helicopters and armed guards. You name it, and you can kind of pick wherever you are across the world and get what kind of service you want. Wow. And uh, so that's going to launch maybe later this year? Yes, or we're like, moving okay. really hard with a few big firms. And who's that? Like designed for in mind is for celebrities or primarily people that are executives. Traveling. Yes, celebrities. It's ideal, and then mm -hmm. executives too that are traveling to a lot of different international spots, and they they want to know if there's danger anywhere. They can get that in a preventative way, and then also call for help. And literally, you know, has help on it's command. James Bond, right yes, yes. Now. But it, and it's great because it's very discreet. It's mm -hmm. very like you would that when you look at this beautiful wrist over here, mm -hmm. you would have no idea that she's wearing some sort of like device underneath her whatsoever. So this one in particular, of course, you can buy these uh, high-end retailers like Nordstrom, Saks, Macy's, exactly. all that stuff. How much would something like this one cost? That one's three twenty-five. Okay, that's not actually that bad when you can, when you look at a lot of like high-end jewelry. Exactly. Yeah, like exactly. a just regular bracelet that looks like this would probably be the same price and exactly. doesn't come with any of the features. Exactly. Exactly. Right. <laughs> okay, any of the other ones in here you want to show us? Yeah. So we're, we've done a. A new collection here. Um, actually, this is kind of cool too. It actually has the inside of. Oh, we the make these products so cool. from oh, start this, to finish. Okay, so this is what. Oh, that's the chip that yep. you can get yeah, inside we have there. Custom, custom sensors and electronics, and the battery and the antenna system that's proprietary. We're also licensing the patents that we have on that to make even higher end luxury pieces. So any kind of jewelry we're going to make smart and provide a security function. This is our breast cancer. Uh, awareness. Because oh, there's the pink right there in the middle. Exactly. 20% of the sales for our breast cancer awareness goes to that, that society to help women that can't afford treatment. And this big one right here, this flower one, is great. Oh, the Ooh, that's that's the design. Is that an Iris one? So, yeah, this is Iris Apfel. Uh, and if you don't newest. know her, we have to pull her up. She, I'm obsessed <laughs> with her. I want to be sure her they're... so badly. So, she is 96. Uh, she is a global fashion icon, yes. interior designer for the White House close friend of ours, and she's been a blast. We've got to work with her uh, as a partner throughout the Now, did project. she help you design any of these ones in here? Uh, so it actually, these are all her Oh, it has her name collection. inscribed on it. Yes. Oh, okay, yeah. interesting, yeah. okay. These are, these are coming out. This is one of my favorites, this one. That's gorgeous with like the yep. jade. It's called Beauty in the Brain. So the top is the beauty and the bottom is the brain. Oh, and so then you gosh, have that'll different be me, and That's basically the name of this show anyway. So. <laughs> yeah. There you go. <laughs> Wait, I'm the brains, or you're in the you're beauty? the beauty, you're the beauty. <laughs> um, well, I think these are all really, these really beautiful. But really besides cool. the stores that I mentioned earlier, yep. where else can we buy some? Where we can find yeah, some? Yes, so Saks, Nordstrom's online at wisewear.com. And that's our primary retailer right now. Um, amazing. Well, Jerry, thank you so thank very you much so for joining much. us. Thank you so much. Awesome. Coming thank up, you. guys, so between bells, the qualities that truly separate Gen Z from millennials in the workplace. But first, let's go over to Corey over at the NASDAQ for some headlines. Hi, Corey. Hello, Baker. Hello, okay. Alyssa. I love you in that all white. I do have some headlines for you guys right here from the NASDAQ. Let's kick it off with the retail giant Walmart because the company is increasing its e-commerce aspirations by transforming its current digital strategy. The retail company is creating an investment arm or incubator, for lack of a better term, to build new online retail startups within the company called Store Number 8. This is the company's latest push into revamping its e-commerce playbook, which kicked off last year, I'm sure as you guys remember, with its $3.3 billion acquisition of Jet.com. And then just last week, it struck a deal to buy the online women's retail company, ModCloth. Walmart also acquired ShoeBuy for $70 million, along with Moose Jaw for $51 million. That was last year. All of this while still trying to expand its online grocery presence through its investment in JD.com. Walmart still, though, has a very, very long way to go as it attempts to, of course, compete with the behemoth Amazon. For right now, its online sales only make up 3% of total sales. All right, guys, let's talk a little bit about Costco because the battle over, get this, golf balls is heating up with Costco suing Titleist. This particular retail giant created a frenzy last year when it started selling low-priced golf balls under its Kirkland brand for about $30 for every two dozen balls. Now, Costco is preemptively asking a Seattle court to rule its balls don't infringe on the 11 patent rights in question owned by Titleist parent company Akushnet. 
The company notes, though, however, this was an important step to take after Kushnet sent a threatening letter to Costco claiming violation of patent rights along with engaging in false advertising. I just want to put this into perspective for you guys. The cost of one Titleist Pro 6 golf ball is about $4 compared to just one of Costco's Kirkland golf balls. That only sets you back $1.25, making it one of the cheapest on the market. As of right now, Costco has removed the golf balls from its website, but says it plans on selling them again in the future. The cheap balls are coming back, guys. Okay. <laughs> Corey, love in the dress, honey. Looks amazing. Thanks so much. Thanks, Corey. Welcome back to Between Bells, guys. There is an estimated 72.8 million people that make up Generation Z, and 2017 marks the first time most Gen Zers will enter the workplace. So here to tell us about the key traits that separate Gen Z from millennials, our father and son duo, David and Jonas Stillman. We're going to let you guys guess which one is the father and which one is the son. <laughs> I'm Co-author of the, of the book, Gen Z at Work, how the next generation is changing the workplace. Guys, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having us. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about this. Why did you guys decide you wanted to make a book together? Uh, two years ago, we had the idea to pioneer a dialogue all about the next generation Gen Z after the millennials. And what really made us come to this decision is that we realized that everyone assumed that anyone under the age of 30 is all the same, when in reality, mm -hmm. we are drastically different and therefore leaders in the workforce need to know that because we will act differently when we enter the workforce. And I think it's very important that people get educated as early as possible so we can be proactive instead of reactive. What defines Generation Z? So Gen Zers were born between 1995 and 2012. Okay, and so you guys are just starting to enter the workforce. So what do people hiring Generation Z need to know? I'm assuming that's where your expertise is coming in. Well, absolutely. Well, one is just the fact that they've been parented by a different generation. So the baby boomers parented millennials. Mm -hmm. And what do we see? You know, a generation that was told, if we all put in together, we can all be winners. And as a result, millennials turned out to be extremely collaborative. Mm -hmm. Well, now you have a generation that was raised by Xers. And what do we we tell Gen Z was that no such thing as a participation award. Mm -hmm. There's winners, there's losers, and now we have a generation that's very competitive, and we anticipate a lot of clashes between collaborative millennials and very competitive Gen Z. Interesting. Okay, yeah. so okay, let's go through some of the seven traits that you guys kind of really break 